the valiant struggle and sacrifices that one workers an 8 hour work day is under attack today so our jobs wages and the right to organize this may day under the cloud of covid-19 news click flags the importance of may day not just for workers but for humanity as a whole In the 19th century, after the advent of the Industrial Revolution in Western countries, exploitation of workers in factories intensified. The capitalists forced workers to put in inhumanly long hours to maximize profits, of which workers got no share. In the U.S. after the Civil War of 1861 to 65, the workers' movement grew stronger as workers in various sectors organized and trade unions led the way. With the slogan, eight hours of work, eight hours for rest, and eight hours for what we will. In 1886, May 1st, over two lakh workers went on strike and marched in protest nationwide. But the biggest gathering was in Chicago. There were protests the next day as well. On May 3rd, some picketing workers at the McCormick Reaper plant at Western and Blue Island Avenues were attacked and killed by the police. On May 4th, there was a peaceful protest gathering at Haymarket Square. But an unidentified person threw a bomb and using the explosion as a pretext, the police opened fire killing at least four workers and went for mass arrests. In 1890 was the first May Day celebration after the Second International adopted May 1st as the day of mobilization of workers worldwide to fight for the eight-hour day. With over 90% of workers already in the unorganized sector, the 8-hour work norm is being openly flouted in India, with corporates filling up their coffers and successive governments looking the other way. Now, under the pretext of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the latest reported proposal of the Narendra Modi government betrays a savage intent to squeeze already exploited workers to benefit corporate houses. After immense sacrifices and valiant struggles, workers in country after country won this precious right to work eight hours a day so that their very bodies could regain strength, they could spend time with their families and have proper rest and sleep. But with reports pouring in of job losses and wage cuts across sectors and millions of migrant workers on the streets, penniless and hungry, workers truly have nothing to lose but their chains. Newsclick stands in solidarity with the toiling millions. Long live workers' unity.